Hotline League is brought to you by Open by HP. That's Blue fair. Jay. I have a what? No, we should. You guys need to pay Mark. Blue Jay, are you Blue Jay thirteen forty four? Yes, I am. Well, thank you for the sub that I literally just read out while you were joining the show. Um, oh, didn't notice. Yeah, I yeah, know. Well, I'm sure you were talking, to Mark. Either way, the point yep. is, where, where are you calling from? Uh, Kitchener, Ontario. Kitchener, Canada. Ontario. Oh, we got a Canadian. Mm-hmm. What hey. did you want to talk about? <laughs> Uh, I honestly just want to talk about if NA fans should be worried about who will rep us at MSI. Oh, this is the MSI caller that Mark was mentioning. Hmm. Yeah, because honestly, like, I just, I look at the top teams and I can't really feel good about any of them, to be honest. I guess Echo Fox has been kind of slipping lately. Cloud9 doesn't look as clean as they did mid-season. Well, I guess at the start of season two. Neither of them are, look very clean, and then after that, it's like, well, wait, we're not going to have Clutch Gaming rep us at MSI, right? Like, Solo doesn't even know how to play the game. So, oh, God. Just can, kidding. <laughs> can I say why you don't need to be worried? Okay, yeah, sure. So, this is what's going to happen, all right? If you'll recall, a couple years ago, one Destin team from North America went to MSI, and they got second place, okay? Mm -hmm. All we need to have happen is for TSM <laughs> to lose and for CLG to get in, winning their tiebreaker, make a playoff run because you have faith in the system. You trust Tony. You don't want to fire him like an idiot. Like <laughs> that was all the these funniest kids shit. On their subreddit. You have belief. You know that you can't lose once Nick Allen does an M an AMA on your sub and you just you roll. Straight God, I love bracket, that answer. You go to MSI, you big dick on EU because all their talent comes to NA anyway. And the the greatest thing about it, we won't even have any of those EU scrubs repping our teams. We'll do it with pure NA talent plus, you know. Man, we could do it with one champion. Catalogic Gaming in the soul. Twitch chat right now is saying the profit and spamming CLG votes. So <laughs> 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 They're not sponsoring uh, this show, just, just so in case anybody. No in, bias. In case, in case Hashtag no bias. In case your CLG fanfic doesn't work out, like, are you concerned about any other teams? Oh, we'll get then... we'll get destroyed if it's not CLG. <laughs> for sure. No faith in TSM. That they, I have they I have faith in Cloud9. No, 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 I don't I, know if I'm I have just, faith I'm in just, TSM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. What, what I mean, because TSM has TSM has a lot of EU players on it, so I think we'll be really good. That's a three fifths EU <laughs> team. You know what I mean? And that's that's like. The best bot lane from EU and the best mid laner from EU. So well, you just have a, like a top and a. He's and NA a now, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's NA, but you know. All right, I think that TSM is going to beat C9 in the finals, which is unfortunate because I think if C9 went to MSI, we would do much better. So then, why are they going to beat like, him in the finals? Because that's always how this shit goes. Yeah, yeah. TSM beat wins domestically, <laughs> and then, like, what? Who was it? Somebody I know. I think it's Taylor. Always tweets like CLG would have won this event every time TSM goes to an international <laughs> event, and then flops out. It's like a reminder that CLG would have won this. Uh, but no, I th I think TSM seems to be able to win domestically. They don't seem to be able to win dom internationally, which is very unfortunate for us because MSI you only get to send one team. So whenever they beat everybody domestically, and then we send them and. Inevitably, we all end up disappointed and angry, and then a TSM Legends episode comes out with, like, the fall or disappointment or, you know, uh, the Suicidal end. Suicidal tendencies. <laughs> Whoa. I don't know about that. But. Whoa, getting real dark here. Yeah. Um, so, what yeah. What about any of the new orgs? Clutch and 100 Thieves. I mean, that's the funny thing. Like, I actually do, I love <laughs> the idea of us sending Clutch to MSI because like all the NA fans their brains would just explode they'd be like we didn't even know this was a team in the NA LCS and now they're representing us internationally what the hell is going on I just think that would be very funny is uh, Team Snickers oh yeah they're eliminated from playoff yeah contention. Snickers never is out oh. uh, I personally am a little nervous about who represents this MSI I think like best bets are once again probably still TSM and C9 uh, just because I'm concerned about Echo Fox's stability based off what we've seen the last couple weeks. C9 hasn't looked much better. I'm really concerned about Licorice's team fighting. I don't think it looks very good, on especially like if he's playing tanks or something. 
Uh, TSM looks all right. And then I, if, if it's not going to be TSM to represent us, even though they might still lose, I would probably take uh, one of the new teams. I'd rather see Clutcher. There's zero mention of TL in here. You guys are... Travis, you especially should be fucking disgusted with yourself. OPTSM fan, by the way, says, Kelby would love it if Clutch brought their social media guy, who I met in person. <laughs> <laughs> Kelby was very uh, very critical of their social media guy. If, for you, person. if you ever want to have... Actually, never mind. I'm not going to say that. I'll get back to it. You keep, <laughs> the amount of times that Kelby self-censors halfway through a sentence on the show... I'm surprised you'd stop. You're not getting paid. Like He, d he made a very savage to tweet to job. Noah Winston earlier and then deleted it. <laughs> Oh, I saw that too. Yeah, he said like, like um, "Whoa, I don't know what you guys are talking." Kel about. Yeah, no, 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 no. Uh, what? So, Kel no, no, no. I, I said, said, "Oh, Kelby's making his triumphant return tonight on the show." Noah said, "Is it really triumphant?" And then Kelby said something like, "More triumphant than your LCS application, or something like that." Yeah, the, uh, you know, the opposite of your LCS application. Oh, the opposite of your LCS low, application. Low blow, dude. And then Kelby okay, quickly Noah deleted I, it. I messaged Noah on the side. I just had to let him know that I have that Twitter reply game, but you know, I didn't I didn't want to flame him like that. Yeah. I mean it's not even creative. Fuck you, Mark. I'm just saying like I, I thought it was good. It's a trump card you can play whenever, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean he wants to fire shots at me, you know. Come on. Back to I, MSI. Does yeah, any yeah. of this matter because the entire thing's going to be taking place at the, the EU question. LCS studio? I want to know what you have to say about Team Liquid, Travis. What are yeah, TL you were shots? About, you're about to go there. Oh, was I? No, Kelby was trying to get me to go there. I think Team Liquid's yeah. a boring topic for this. Like, I do not think that they're going to make it to uh, the event. They have they seem Clip, to have an identity crisis. and tweet at t Peter right now. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Don't. <laughs> please don't. Because I actually have... No, no. We're going to tweet something else at, at Peter later on tonight. Trust oh, really? me, just just hold off. I've been hanging. Okay. It's actually so hilarious you brought that up because I have a whole thing. But oh, Dev, I didn't know. Uh, no, no, you'll see. You'll see when he gets there. Um, but no, I just yeah, I think Team Liquid has an identity crisis. They can't figure out what they want to be, and I don't think that they're going to figure it out in time. So um, again, I still think Cloud Nine is going to. I think Cloud Nine is going to look really great, and then they'll lose in some dramatic fashion to TSM in the finals, and then TSM will just go bluster out, and it'll just be like. Is it? But if um, who oh. was the caller earlier? Whoa, what happened? Was it Furry earlier who was talking about how potentially it could be Cloud Nine and TSM on the same side of the bracket though for semis? Uh, I mean, anything anything can happen right now. It's all okay. up in the air. Like, cause cause Cloud and I might not even get a buy. They're one game ahead of Clutch, and they've been losing games. So, right. Okay. Uh, at this point, like anything's still possible. Yeah, 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 for sure. I have a quick question, if you guys don't mind. We Go have quick it. answers. Okay, so by the sounds of things, Travis and Mark, I don't know about you, Kelly, but from the sound of things that you guys were okay with TSM repping. Um, however, do you guys still feel that way if, like, before this week? Like, they just won two games. Sorry, what was your brings... your question is we're okay with TSM I guess my what? question is, would you guys still feel comfortable with TSM repping us if it was before this weekend just happened? Or did this weekend change a whole lot? I personally would always like to have big talent on big stages. Players who've played in big matches and have international experience. Yeah, that's fair. I would say, yeah. I mean, all, a lot of this is pending how people look in playoffs. Because like, part of my assumption is TSM will be good in playoffs because it'll be a best of five environment. And then they'll play better. It wasn't really influenced by this week as much, though the win over C9 was nice. The, I, I already started believing in Sven and Mithy when they started like taking turrets 2v2 with Ezreal Braum and stuff like that. So okay, I, I had started believing in them a little bit ago. That's why I, I predicted them to beat C9. I just nice. I don't think that they were ever a question. Did we ever? Th I mean, I don't know how you guys think, but I didn't think there was ever a question that they would eventually become. A solid bot lane. I think the question was all on Mike Young, and if if we're now convinced that Mike Young can perform, then like yeah, I'd say it's ten TSM. That'd be wicked. It was less about if their bot lane was good so much as would it synergize with their team because they were kind of getting blasted when they were there were there were some clear synergy problems between the bot lane and the rest of the team. Yeah. Uh, so there was a world where I, I didn't think TSM ever worked out, but I never sold my TSM stock. I just said they were bad when they were clearly bad, but I wasn't like oh they can't get better. Like yeah, I thought, okay. I thought Golden Guardians wasn't gonna get better, but they got a lot better. Yeah, holy shit, eh? Yeah, 
Nice okay. A. Nice strong A thrown in there. Oh, I gotta throw them in, man. I'm doing that on purpose. <laughs> Blue Jay, thank you so much for calling in. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for having me, fellas. Take care. Thanks, yeah. dude. All right, Mark, before you before you leave, I'll, I'll just talk about the double F campaign now, right? Okay. Okay, so. Yeah, try and save yourself, Travis. Hello, viewers. As of right now, my Twitch dashboard says there are 1,158 of you guys watching right now. Unfortunately, this is in stark contrast to a statement made by a close personal friend of mine recently. So I, as many people have requested uh, or suggested, I requested uh, Doublelift to come officially on this show. Doublelift said, no one watches this show. And so he declined the invite. So he thinks you guys are no one. I would love to have Mark, me, Kelby, and Doublelift all on the show in the future doing talking i think it'd be really fun we get callers in double lift and kelby used to work together they're close friends i think that'd be great but again like double lift seems to think there is no one that watches the show so what i would love is if all of you if you have a twitter account do this if not make a twitter account because i need all you guys to tweet at double lift what is it at tl double lift yeah at tl double lift and just say tl double lift I'm typing it on Twitch chat right now. Hey, you pull up, pull I up, watch Hotline League. Just just tweet, hey, I watch Hotline League at Double F, please. And just, if you're watching the VOD, do it. Just keep, because he does not think anybody watches the show. And maybe maybe nobody does. I, maybe I'm wrong. But I, I this is just a test. We can t check, you know, on Twitter to see... If yeah, maybe it would get posted it. to Reddit, and then a Reddit mob would take it down once they realized I said this, but... You know, maybe that would help too. Yeah, just it would be great if everybody could tweet at TL Double Yep, there's a, a Twitter link right there. Just, just because again, like I think he's confused um, because I I feel like people watch this show. Do you think people watch this show, Kelby? Yes, Travis, I do think that people watch this show. Okay, good. <laughs> well, let's. That's find... how I sell esports, by the way, on my calls. Let's find out. Um. All right, <laughs> all the everybody's spamming the bot emote now in chat because yeah. everyone's just bots. All right, um, I, I tweeted at him, Travis. We can, I yeah, tweeted at him too. We can move on. Oh, do you? Did you tweet him? Yeah, I guilt tripped him with the best friend. Yeah, thing. I told him not to come on. Oh, really? <laughs> Mark told him not to come on. Uh, Mark tweeted, "Hey, Hot Light League is not a good show. I advise you not to come on." Very good. All right. Uh, I can't lie, man. All right. Can't make me lie. Yeah. Uh, should I get the next guy? Yeah. Okay. 